Burgess is, I think, fairly unusual in that for someone coming to intellectual and political maturity uh, in the 30s, he did not uh, take to communism. In fact, he rejected it as he rejected fascism. Uh, he writes in Little Wilson, Big God being the first part of the Confessions of Phantom Burgess, and he's talking here about his time at the university. The Communist Society was by far the biggest of the university political groups, but I never belonged to it. My Catholic upbringing had left me with a conviction that a wholly materialist interpretation of history was false. There were communist parties, some of which I attended, but only because I was after a Latvian girl named Zosafin Wolfson. She was the only female communist who had any allure. The others eschewed it as a capitalist trap. I was not really anything but a Catholic liberal humanist with tendencies to anarchism. <laughs>